a massive ring of thieves busted in New York City. Attorney General Letitia James charging 41 people for their roles in stealing luxury clothing and goods and thousands of items from drugstores. $3.8 million worth of stolen goods and hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash recovered by authorities. I would assume reporter Sonia Rincon live in Midtown Manhattan outside the pawn shop where investigators say the thieves brought the stolen goods. Sonia. The Diamond District pawn shop behind me is owned by the alleged mastermind of this massive retail theft operation. This is not where the stolen items would be sold. They would be sold on eBay, but this is where investigators say the thieves or boosters, as they were called, would bring the items after grabbing them off the store shelves of places like Rite Aid and Bloomingdale's. They would hand them over here and be paid in cash. Now, the mayor made a campaign promise to crack down on this problem. He and the investigators on the case say these are not victimless crimes. These are stolen items, selected because they sold well on eBay. And this is just a sample of the stash at the alleged ringleader's warehouse. $3.8 million worth of items recovered here in Fresh Meadows, where that suspected ringleader, Ronnie Rubinoff, lived in a mansion. Mr. Rubinoff himself preys on the weak. He preys on people who have tremendous narcotics history. Those people, called boosters, desperate for cash, would grab the items in the type of brazen retail theft seen across the country, allegedly selling the items to Rubinov and his associates for a fraction of the value. This is just not shoplifting. This is organized crime. Department stores and drugstore chains were all targets, which city officials say traumatized store employees and hurt future employment when those stores would close. Some would look at this and say, what's the big impact? It is a huge impact on our economy. It erodes trust. It sends a signal that we are in a city out of control. Attorney General Letitia James says Rubinov wasn't just interested in popular eBay items. Probably the most offensive and egregious is that Rubinov also purchased EBT benefits or food stamps from some of these same boosters in exchange for cash. 42-year-old Rubinov and 40 other people are charged with enterprise corruption, money laundering, and other counts which could land them up to 25 years behind bars. Now, this was a three-year investigation that started before the pandemic, and it continues. And, of course, the pandemic made the problem worse. But the mayor says this is not about criminalizing poverty. He says this case was about sheer greed. Live in Midtown, Sonia